Welcome to the unboxing and review of the Nagi Cherry Profile ABS Silicone Keycaps. This set is the white version, but you can also order these in purple, black, green, or pink. So let's see what we got here. So this is something that I've been searching for for years. I wanted keycaps that were silicone and also be able to read the print on the keycaps because the idea of a silicone keycap is not new, but uh, most of the silicone keycaps are blank and I'm not a fan of blank keycaps. Now I have gotten clear keycaps before, but they are hard plastic. They don't feel good on the fingers. Um, I'm currently using a silicon dust cover for my current keys. And I'm gonna just take a key out. So right off the bat, it feels really nice. It's, I can tell the, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but the layering of the silicon is pretty thin. So it's not like, really flexible but it feels really nice to the touch it, it almost feels like a rubber coating but this is silicone so that feels really nice so this solves a couple of problems one of the problems i hate is when i'm using the keyboard uh, on a regular basis i'm touching the edges and it kind of wears away at my fingers and it makes it feel uncomfortable for the edges and the softer points of my fingers right and what I like is just the softer feel, but I also want a clearer print through the silicone, which uh, I think this is actually attached to it. This is molded to the ABS, so I don't think you're gonna be getting a replacement per se, because it's it's it feels like it's almost glued, but it solves two problems. Uh, the first problem is if you do a print on top of silicone, it's just gonna wear away. It's gonna it's it's just gonna go away. The second problem is the firmness of the silicone is too soft to have the entire keycap be made of silicone, and it kind of wobbles and it's not very stable. So they solved that problem with making an ABS insert with the printed letter on the top of the ABS insert and then the silicone goes outside and then you can see the print right through the silicone. So the nice thing about this is the RGB that goes through the clear, uh, I should it should go through the plastic and the silicone. We're gonna try that on my, uh, my keyboard after I get everything installed. And I've been dreaming of a product like this for a long, long time. So the set itself comes, uh, it's pretty standard. Uh, I had this from China. Uh, it's the only place you can get it. You can order through Amazon, but the white version is not available. There's some alternate keys here in case there's different sizes or whatnot. I'm pretty sure that the space bar is not gonna fit and some of the other keys, but I'm gonna try to make it work. So I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison with the uh, custom keycaps that I had ordered from Max Keyboards uh, compared to the new um, Nagi silicon keycaps. As you can see, the lighting in this is pretty crisp and clear, uh, where the Nagi is has like a very nice soft glow. So it kind of ties in with how soft the keycaps are. And so far, um, it makes the keycap sound a little bit lighter too. So that's normal pressure. I'll do really soft pressure. And these are Cherry MX silent key switches, I should say. All right, so here's loud. So when you're pressing harder, it definitely quiets out the sound. The space bar did not fit. Um, it just is a different size. 
uh, and that's one of my complaints about this keyboard is it came with like non-standard you can see the the space for size so it's even on that side but you can see it's just it's just too small all right so here's the final look of the nagi cherry silicone uh, keycap set installed the lighting on it is really nice it's got a beautiful soft glow to it i absolutely love how this feels how it looks I'm really, really happy with this set. I've been waiting for something like this for years. The look and feel of it, it's um, not as bright in person, but that's not a bad thing. It just looks really bright for the camera. But as far as like visual, like whether you're in uh, a light setting or dark setting, you'll be able to easily see your keys. Also to note, the home keys have, I don't, you can't really see it on the camera, I don't think. But right there, there's a little nipple where you can feel it by touch on the F and J key. So I thought that was actually a nice touch that I, I didn't even think about, to be honest. One more thing to note about the silicone itself. So I don't know if it's a part of the product. Like silicone to me, anytime it dries, it's like smooth, right? And I'll show you. Um, this is the, the mess that I had before, which was a... Uh, which was a skin and um, this skin feels smooth whereas when I touch these they have a slight just the ever so slightest texture to them and um, I'm not sure if I like it or not like it I think I'll be fine with it um, I kind of like the smoothness of the silicon um, but you can see this is just worn away and it's ripping and uh, this is probably after a year of use. It just wears away. So real quick, I wanted to show the mod I did to basically elevate my keyboard beyond what they offered in these little tiny feet, which is just this little tiny raise. I needed a little bit more <clears throat> to get up over this these feet that I have on this platform that I use. Uh, so all I used was uh, heavy duty double sided carpet tape and uh, some door stops you can find at any hardware store. You know, just some rubber door stops. Uh, just make sure you find them that are big enough. That's about about two inches high. And then uh, I just put this on the back of the keyboard like so. Like that. <clears throat> so I got one there. And I got one here. It doesn't have to be, like, absolutely perfect, but... So once I got that set up, uh, I can just flip this over. And the angle is nice and raised. Let's see that like that. The reason why I do that is to get the steeper angle is because I use these armrests to put my arms on and I lean back in my chair fully reclined and so that changes the angle if you notice my wrist right here uh, it changes the angle so if it was laying uh, at a <clears throat> flatter angle my wrist would be like this and it would be a little bit more stressful on my tendons so this gives me the perfect angle and ergonomics to be able to use my keyboard comfortably yeah and it also works well with uh, this platform uh, I can just put it right here, like that, and there's my setup. So here's how I managed to modify the existing spacebar to fit my keyboard. So as you can see, this is the Max Keyboard Custom Spacebar 
or custom key keycap set, and this is standard size. So you can see this is a little bit bigger because Corsair, in their infinite wisdom, uh, decided to make all the bottom row keys a unique size, making them non-standard, which was a big pain in the butt for me trying to get keycap sets uh, to fit. And Max Keyboard was the only one where I could get like a translucent top at the time until now, until I got the silicon keycap set from Nagi Cherry MX. I was looking at these and I was really kind of dismayed to have this one key contrast with the rest of the keycap set and uh, I was brainstorming. And I noticed that when you line these up, get this close to the camera, uh, the alignment is only off by maybe like three millimeters on both sides. So I was thinking if I could somehow move these uh, Cherry MX posts that fits into the stabilizers because the center would be fine, I just needed to move these posts. So I was thinking like, well, if I could get in there and somehow cut these off and just move it over, I'd be in good shape. So I was thinking like, well, how am I gonna get in there and cut it off? So I have uh, the this, this blade set here. There's no way this thing's gonna fit <laughs> in there. So I needed something really small. So I did started digging deep on Amazon and came across uh, this set here. And uh, they solved two problems. A, the, the they had a variety of different sizes. You know, this was going to work perfect because uh, I measured it and I needed like a five millimeter disc. And they had ones that went all the way down to this little guy. And uh, the other thing, too, is that they're, that they're like welded on. So they have like a zero, almost like a one millimeter clearance. This worked perfectly. And I believed I used this second to smallest one here. Uh, I love this set so much that I actually ordered a second a second set at a cheaper price I found in eBay. As a backup, in case the current keycaps ever wear out, I have an entire set to replace them. So what I did was I put in my Dremel and I just started cutting sideways into that. And there was enough of a clearance. I'm, I think I even went down to the smallest one, started cutting away all the way around and I just barely had enough clearance to uh, cut it away. I took my Dremel and I just went uh, across here and I flattened out so there was no bump. So I had a nice clean flat surface to work with. Now you're thinking, oh, well, what about all the material that was moved in cutting away that post? And also the post was on an angle. I don't know if you can see this. You can see the post is sitting on a, on a very slight angle, maybe like a 20 or 15 degree angle. So I just made sure to keep the angle of the post and the material that I was gonna use, um, I was gonna use a trick. You can get CA glue and specifically thin. And then this particular one that I got off the of Amazon comes with the kit, uh, has an extra cap and has the CA glue, which is uh, sci affixed. And I do recommend this stuff because they give you quite a big bottle for the price and um, this is thin viscosity. This is really important to doing if you're trying to do a project like this. You want thin viscosity because you want it to basically lead into the substrate that you're creating, which is uh, baking soda. So you got the extra cap and then you got little pipettes that are disposable in case they get clogged up or you can just uh, cut off the end. And how that works is you take off the top, but you basically affix that to the top and allows you to apply a very, very trolled amount of glue to the project that you're working on. I didn't know that the, these pipettes came with it when I ordered the product. So if you don't need extra uh, pipettes, uh, then don't get extras like I did. So what I did is I looked on Amazon and I ordered some more pipettes and they only come in a 150 pack. It's about the same size at the very the very bottom, but you can see the length is about twice the length. And because of the length, it tapers, it continues to taper off all the way down to a very, very fine uh, needle point. 
and it's all you can't almost can't even see the hole at the end. The combination of baking powder and any kind of CA glue, but basically if it has this ingredient, which stands for CA, Definitely. if you combine this with uh, baking soda, and you can look on YouTube videos of examples of this, it turns rock hard. So this is what a normal keycap looks like. And if you're curious, I actually wondered if you could separate uh, this ABS plastic part from the inside of the ABS or the uh, silicon cap. So I actually took this cap, which I figured I'm never going to use an infinity cap. So I actually tried to remove the silicon from the ABS and uh, it, it just would not go let go. Like, so if you try to like pull the, the silicon away from the ABS, it, it, it's well bonded. I mean, we are talking, you would probably have to take an uh, X-Acto knife and cut that away. So that was the first test. I wanted to see if you could possibly replace the silicon in case the silicon got worn away. You could use another cap to swap it. That would be a nice feature if they ever updated this, um, but I'm very happy with how it is right now. So what I did was I actually cut and I'm gonna try to get it really focused in here. I actually cut this post off, put the baking soda as a test because I wanted to do a strength test, put the baking soda in, right where that post was and I just added a little bit of the CA glue to the, the bottom of the post that was disconnected and just sat it on top of the pile of baking soda and it instantly welded uh and and if i don't know if you can see this but i cannot i'm putting a lot of force on this and i cannot break this this is like like it's <laughs> it's harder than cement it's like steel it's just it's on there and i can't i would have to cut it off again just in order to do it again but there's no reason to do it because this was just a test this was a sacrificial piece so i was literally like scooping because this is really fine powder uh i was scooping it inside of here and filling it up as a reservoir and then i was taking uh let me put this in view i was taking the pip it and I was tapping it like this and creating little micro piles of baking soda creating a substrate then I took some tweezers and I you know slowly put the post down right on top of where the baking soda was and then I took the CA glue that had the pipette attached I just dropped some droplets you know right on where the glue was and the baking soda just absorbed the glue like magic and I just put a few drops all the way around it absorbed it created a rock hard connection between the post and the plastic so here's the final result of the DIY mod to move the post over about three millimeters and uh, this one's a little crooked but it still works and you can actually see some of my hash mark I made for the centering. But this is uh, rock solid. I don't have any concern about it uh, breaking off like you do with some applications of super glue. But the combination of the CA glue with the baking powder uh, made this little DIY project work really well. It looks absolutely gorgeous now uh i love that the space bar is not clashing it feels really nice to my thumb it's nice and smooth and soft um it still has a stiffness to it because of the abs underneath when i activate the space bar you'll see the light shoot up which is an effect i created so if you notice even if i touch the very edge uh and press the space bar it works no matter where i i press on the space bar so this mod 100% worked. I'll do like a color shifter, so we'll get rid of that. So you can see that, and it should be, yeah, it's color shifting now. So you can see it go through all the different colors, so you can really kind of get an understanding of the how good the colors are.
So um, compared to the uh, numbers and symbol keys, uh, this they could have done better on the the symbol for the tilde and the the reverse apostrophe. Uh, on the six key, the carrot is very tiny and the tip is chopped off, which I thought was weird. So that could have been bigger as a symbol. You notice that all the other symbols are done really well. And the other thing I noticed that whenever there's a uh, shift uh, symbol, they put it at the top of the key where it gets most of the light. So the like if you look at the backspace key, the entire word backspace is fully lit up. So I like that they focused that the symbols stay at the top of the key. This was another weird one right here where we had uh, two symbols. We have the apostrophe and the quotes and they really should be on the same level with each other and then just maybe spaced apart and then I would have increased the font size. I've also been using this for uh, several weeks now and very happy there's been no uh, ghosting or cloudiness build up from me using for gaming, for work, whatever. Been very happy with the keycap set. So thanks for watching.